Through the years, we've seen many impressive performances in the WNBA, but who among them stood out better than the rest? We've seen how many players evolved throughout the years, but there are only a few who are legendary in their own rights. For today's episode, we'll be sharing with you our list of athletes who we consider the WNBA's greatest of all time. So make sure you keep watching if you don't want to miss out. So without further ado, here's a list of WNBA's greatest of all time. Starting today's video, we have none other than Sue Bird. After the 2022 WNBA season, Sue Bird, a forward for the Seattle Storm, will finally close in on her illustrious career. The 41-year-old, who is regarded as one of the all-time best players, is the first WNBA player to win championships in three different decades. With 3,161 career assists, she also holds the record for most assists per game, coming in third with 5.6. Bird has four WNBA championships to her name, 2004, 2010, 2018, and 2020, in addition to 13 All-Star selections. In 2021, she was also named the Female Athlete of the Year by USA Basketball. With 324 victories under her belt, she overtook the previous record holder in the WNBA last June. Next, we have Sylvia Fowles. Sylvia Fowles, the center for the Minnesota Lynx, broke the WNBA record for most career double-doubles in 2019 and has continued to add to it with eight this season. The two-time WNBA champion also holds the records for the most rebounds in a season and a career 3,974-404 with a 60% career field goal percentage. She also holds the highest rate. The 36-year-old announced that her career would end after the 2022 season. Moving on, we have Diana Taurasi. Diana Taurasi, the guard for the Phoenix Mercury, is one of the most reliable offensive players in the league. The 40-year-old owns the record for the highest single-season scoring average at 25.3 points per game in the 2006 season and is a three-time WNBA champion 2007, 2009, 2014. Next on the list, we have Tamika Catchings. Tamika Catchings, a forward with the Indiana Fever, had a very good all-around game before she retired in 2016. She is the first WNBA player to have twice finished a season in the top 10 in terms of points, rebounds, assists, steals, and blocks. In 2012, the 43-year-old received finals MVP and won the WNBA championship. Moving on, we have Maya Moore. Maya Moore, the forward for the Minnesota Lynx, has had a distinguished career to date. Moore was named Sports Illustrated's First Performer of the Year in 2017, and the magazine referred to her as the sport's best champion ever. She has won four WNBA championships in 2011, 2013, 2015, and 2017. And in 2013, she was voted Finals MVP. The 33-year-old took a break in 2019 to concentrate on justice system reform in the United States. Next up, we have Lisa Leslie. In addition to serving as the head coach of the triplets in the Big Three Professional Basketball League and a studio commentator for Orlando Magic Broadcast on Fox Sports Florida, Lisa Leslie is a former professional basketball player. She also won finals MVP both of the years she won the WNBA title, 2001 and 2002, and even bagged four gold medals at the Olympics. In 2015, the 50-year-old was inducted into both the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame and the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame. And now we have Tina Thompson. One of the hardest players to guard was Tina Thompson, a four-time WNBA champion due to her strength and physicality. Until 2017, the 47-year-old was the NBA's all-time leading scorer. As of 2019, she is now second 
only to Diana Taurasi in league history. From 2018 until 2022, she was the Virginia Cavaliers women's basketball team's head coach. 2018 saw Thompson become a member of the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame, as well as the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame. Moving on to the next player, we have Lauren Jackson. When it comes to games played, minutes played, field goals, three-pointers, and turnover percentage, Lauren Jackson is among the top WNBA players. In 2004 and 2010, the 41-year-old won two WNBA championships both the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame and the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame inducted her in 2020 and 2021, respectively. Jackson, who is the daughter of two members of the national basketball team, received a scholarship at the Australian Institute of Sport in 1997. When she was 16 years old, she served as the team's captain when AIS won the Women's National Basketball League title in 1998. And of course, we also have Cheryl Swoops. The WNBA's first player to be signed was Cheryl Swoops. The 51-year-old was among the top defensive players, making history by being the first person to win three MVP honors and three Defensive Player of the Year accolades in the WNBA and NBA. The four-time WNBA champion was inducted into the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame and the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame in 2016 and 2017, respectively. Moving on to the next, we have Cynthia Cooper. One of the NBA's top scorers is Cynthia Cooper. The 59-year-old holds the record for the most finals MVPs with four and was the first MVP, finals MVP, and champion in WNBA history. Both the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame and the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame inducted Cooper in 2009. And then finally, we have Candace Parker. In addition to winning the WNBA championship in 2016 and 2021, Candace Parker was selected as the 2016 Finals MVP. The 36-year-old was the first athlete to earn the Most Valuable Player and Rookie of the Year honors in the same season, 2008. She was the second player to dunk in a WNBA game in June 2008. Moving on, let's talk about Sue Bird, being hailed as the greatest WNBA of all time. Nobody can dispute Sue Bird's status as one of the greatest female basketball players of all time. Most basketball players could only dream of winning half of the honors Bird has won throughout her more than 20 years on the court. Her Olympic and collegiate careers are also not too awful, and her WNBA resume is loaded. However, everything good has an end. Bird will eventually say goodbye after suffering a heartbreaking 92-97 loss to the young Las Vegas Aces in the WNBA semifinals, leaving behind a legacy that is more than secure. The 41-year-old veteran handed the ball off to Brianna Stewart, who finished with 42 points and 8 assists. The ideal moment to ask if Sue Bird is the greatest WNBA player of all time is perhaps now, as her playing days are coming to a close. Only a select few women's basketball players in history could credibly claim to be the best, and Bird is one of them. Here are two reasons Sue Bird is a contender for the title of greatest WNBA player of all time. Sue Bird is regarded as one of the greatest since she also made sure the rest of her team got their fair share. A player's endurance and capacity for maintaining motivation are typically demonstrated by their ranking as the all-time leader of a particular counting metric, or at the very least, in the top 5 or 10. These two are a strength of Sue Bird. Although she may not have an MVP trophy in her possession, it is important to remember the part she performed in setting up MVP colleagues Lauren Jackson and Brianna Stewart for Simple Baskets.
She finished her illustrious career as the WNBA's all-time leader in assists with 3,234 and laid the groundwork for a storm squad that had remained competitive for most of Bird's reign. She ranks third all-time in steals, seventh overall in WNBA scoring, and holds the record for most all-star selections with 13. Although Bird may not have been the most potent scorer, her ability to play her playmaking role at a high level has helped the team win more often than not. In addition to this, she also set an unmatched winning culture. Sue Bird was a winner everywhere she went and undoubtedly possessed the winning formula. The 5'9 guard from Connecticut had a long career, finishing it as the all-time WNBA leader with 334 regular season victories. Heck, even before she entered the WNBA, Bird had already achieved success, leading Connecticut to two NCAA championships. Additionally, Bird has dominated the international competition, continuing the USA women's basketball team's tradition of gold medal success by winning five golds in total since 2004. Since being selected first overall by the Storm in 2002, Sue Bird has only missed the playoffs three times and had five seasons with a record below .500. The Bird-led Storm was a consistent playoff threat, and she won the championship four times in three different decades in 2004, 2010, 2018, and 2020. Although she frequently teamed up with top-tier athletes like Lauren Jackson and Brianna Stewart, Bird proved that greatness lifts greatness by making her more offensively-oriented colleagues look good. The reason Sue Bird is the greatest player in WNBA history are persuasive, given her propensity for winning basketball games, her timely baskets, and her unquantifiable leadership qualities that turn greatness into legendary status. The list goes on, but unfortunately, we're already out of time. So that will be all for today's video. Which of these players do you consider the greatest of all time? Let us know in the comment section below. Before you go, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel with the notification bell on for more videos like these. See you next time and thanks for watching.